Welcome back to Auto Scoop with your host, Adam Goldfine. Welcome back to Auto Scoop. I'm Adam Goldfine. We are just having an unbelievable day at the Atlanta Dragway. We're having a chance to get up close and personal with all the top drivers. Now we have a chance to talk to two of our favorite teammates. We've got Robert Height and Ashley Force. And guys, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and talk to us uh, before your big races. Happy birthday to the Mustang. I know you guys are, are driving Mustangs out there. This is probably uh, an important day for Ford. Yeah, this is a big weekend for us. Uh, 45 years of the Mustang, and um, we wish we would have had our 09 Mustang out, but uh, that body style isn't quite ready yet, but um, it will be later this year. But we're looking forward to it and uh, definitely going to celebrate uh, the birthday of the Mustang this weekend. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to watch a team and how you guys all put together. And i got to ask you, Ashley, how does it feel, you know, in the, the quote-unquote, say, man's world for you to just go out there and compete and do so well? I mean, you know, is it, is it an issue or is it just really not an issue and the guys just look at you as just another driver? I really believe they do look at me as just a driver. I am a, a female, but I sure. have, you know, 10 great guys that work on my team that tune my car. So I'm only one piece of the whole puzzle. But um, it was kind of interesting. When we've really been thinking a lot, talking a lot about the Mustang, the birthday of the Mustang. And I learned something interesting that back when they first came out with it, um, almost half the people who purchased them were women. Sure. And it really just shows, you know, women liking cars and hot rods is not a new thing. It's been around for years, I think. That's the future um, of, of racing, a Ford, that, that women are just as interested in, in it as men. And if you look out into the stands this weekend here in Atlanta, Georgia, you'll see there's a lot of moms, a lot of daughters, um, a lot of families out here that love racing. It's a family event. I mean, there's no doubt. And it's kind of one of those um, you know, questions that I think gets tossed up to hopefully inspire other women that are out there that, hey, it's okay, come on out, because there are a lot of people not only in the stands. The, the cool part is there are people behind the wheel. And that, you know, the, the sport as a whole is a very, uh, I'd say, very inclusive sport. And, and that's what's kind of exciting. You guys get up close and personal to the fans. You know, you, I know you have good rapport and you guys compete against each other and you're on the road going around the circuit. It, it's really unlike any other sport that I've seen. Can I, do, it do you is. feel it's inclusive? The, I think the, one of the greatest things about NHRA drag racing is how close the fans can be involved in everything we do. Right. Obviously, wa watching the races from the stands, that's a big part of it. But there's all you know a whole other side to things, um, kind of behind the scenes that they can stand. They can watch the teams pull back in after a run. They can watch them take apart the car where they're only five feet away. They can watch the warm up, meet the drivers, talk with the crew members when they're when they have downtime. They really get involved and they see everything that goes into making a run. You know, making a 300 mile an hour run. That is, you know, what we're all about in drag racing. Right. But they get to experience everything that is drag racing. It's so much work for four seconds of glory, though. <laughs> I mean, exactly. You know, you guys are out there and you have all this, you know, emotion and the hype and it's four seconds. Yep. You know? And then the guys have 65 minutes to uh, tear, tear it down and put it all back together and, and get it back up there. So the fans get to see every bit of that. Now, now when you're saying it's 65 minutes, because uh, for the folks that aren't familiar with drag racing, it's really um, uh, a race of elimination, right? You guys are racing and then, you know, you proceed and move on to the next one. So they're yes. tearing down uh, so to get you ready for basically your next run yes okay yeah every single run uh, that we make the engine gets tore clear down and cylinder heads get rebuilt new clutch and these teams can usually do it in 45 minutes and restart it so it's uh, the fans get to be a part of all that and see it and you know as growing up as a, a kid wanting to learn how to work on cars I used to love coming to NHRA races and getting to see all that and you can learn a lot too you know it's very different from let's say the NASCAR where they watch the pit crews and let's say they're doing the fuel and they're doing the uh, the tires right yeah. but here you're doing complete teardown yes I mean it's so much more involved and the fact that you can get, get close you know up close and personal in the pits has to be very exciting for the fans as well yes it is and all the drivers out there are friendly and uh, morale sign and autographs so it's a good experience for the fans right and so actually when you're talking to the fans what, what are the probably the one or two most common questions people ask as you go around the country they ask if I'm gonna beat my dad this weekend okay. um, which you never know what the lineups gonna be but there's a good chance we'll run side by side at some point so that's probably the main the main question I get and I actually have a lot of younger fans um, girls and boys that will bring up pictures of junior dragsters that they race or oh, how cool. maybe their father races a car that they help on and I had a little girl yesterday um, come up and she had her junior dragster here on display and I was asking her you know you you know are you the only kid in your class who's a drives a race car and she she was so cute and so proud she said I'm the only girl I'm the only kid in my school that drives a race car so she got me a handout she? 
Um, she said she was in the fifth grade. And, and, and that's the other thing, you know, I'm always amazed that, that folks can get involved with the tracks, they can come out and they can race, mm -hmm. even if you've always had the bug and you wanted to do it. And again, so the, the barrier to entry, obviously at the professional level is very high. You know, you need lots of corporate sponsorships, you need all the money and whatnot, but it's really a sport that can go from the ground on up. That's right. right. You know, yes. from kids all the way through the, the, the pros. Now, so I gotta, I gotta ask you guys. I know that your team, you know, is really a family affair. One way or another, you're all, you're all connected. Which one of you is the faster? <laughs> well, he actually holds the record, I think, over me for speed. Okay. Um, so I'd have to say his car is running, running faster. Because well, all of a sudden you got very quiet. You know, I noticed no, that no, you no. also because I want to know what happens at the dinner table at Thanksgiving <laughs> when you guys are sitting there. You're moving slow on the turkey now. Come on, pass it a little faster. You exactly. Know? No, it's it. You know, hopefully at Thanksgiving we're we're talking about the championship that we won that year. So right. And it's as long as one of these Fords uh, does that and wins a championship, we're happy. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a very exciting day for Ford. It's obviously an exciting day for you guys, and there's so much racing to go. You know, in the season as everybody gets down to the championship, and we, you know, we wish you so much uh, success with it. As, as, as you're thinking about what you have to do, what, you know, what are the one or two things that you're focusing on the most uh, as you're approaching race day today? Well, it's um, the funny car class is very, very competitive. Uh, it's kind of like pro stock is. Uh, you know, it's less than a tenth of a second. Uh, separates number one through number 16 and you know there's usually 17 18 good cars so somebody's somebody good is going to be on the outside right. and the first foremost thing is to be qualified you know you got to make and that this first run right out of the box today seems to be the most important and kind of sets the tone for the whole weekend right get your mind straight what's, exactly what's going on Ashley the little girl that's sitting out there you got 10 seconds what would be the message that you would give to, to some you know girl or boy out there that's watching you on TV uh, I would just say to get out there, experience racing, and learn all you can, and obviously do school as well. That's important. And I completed college, and then I went racing.